Is your Fire Stick having trouble with sound output, be distorted and delayed to even straight up no output? Don't worry, all you need to do is follow through all the steps that I mentioned in this video to get your Fire Stick blasting through your eardrums in no time. If your issues are with no sound output in general, then your input sources should be properly configured. If you have external speakers connected to your TV, make sure that they are plugged into power. Check and swap your power socket if necessary. Ensure that the speakers are powered on and running. While you're here, also check if all the cables connected to and from your fire stick are in pristine condition. The condition of the cables can drastically impact the operations of your speakers. So if you notice any red flags, get the cables replaced. A thing that many glosses over is if your TV has been in a mute state all this time. It is embarrassing, yes, but trust me, it happens more often than not. The mute button is quite easy to hit at times and it can be a huge beacon of frustration. Just try toggling the mute button off or increasing the volume on your fire stick and you should be good. Now, if your fire stick has been outputting weird and distorted audio, then your Fire Six built-in audio enhancements should be the culprit here. I've noticed that whenever I have my Fire Six connected to my TV with the extender cable that came in its box, my audio quality takes a huge hit. Mainly, I've noticed weird artifacts like popping sounds creep in especially if the TV's volume is above 70%. So yeah, it would be best if you could plug in your Fire Stick to your TV without an extender cable. Or you could replace that specific cable and see how it fares. Fire TVs have plenty of audio enhancement settings that benefit our eardrums in most cases. But if they don't gel well with the speakers or the content that you're watching, it can make the whole audio experience unbearable. So it is best to first disable the audio enhancements and then try enabling only the ones that you genuinely need or just work for you. The main setting that you need to get configured is the surround sound setting. Go to your Fire TV settings and select display and sounds. Navigate to audio and then surround sound. Toggle the best available setting and swap over to Dolby Digital or even PCM. Setting the audio configuration to best available is known to cause issues like this. So it's best to stick to manually configuring your Dolby settings or even PCM if necessary for now. By the way, the Dolby audio configuration has multi-channel support, whereas PCM is your traditional two-channel support config. Also, turn off the other volume enhancement settings like volume leveler as well. If these audio issues are more widespread, then this could be an issue that's frankly out of our hands. For such issues, you might need to wait for Amazon to patch things up with a firmware update. These patches are usually meant for security and feature updates, but they also serve the purpose of fixing any unresolved system bugs. Go to the settings of your Fire Stick and then select My Fire TV. Go to the About section and select Check for System Update. Wait for the updates to finish and check if your issues persist. Finally, if you face any lip sync or audio delay issues with your content, it's most likely a hardware or encoding issue. One of the major culprits that I've noticed when it comes to audio delay issues like this 
is its conflicts with the TV settings. Some smart TVs have configurations that often override or mess up your preset file stick settings and the content that you watch. Now, these settings vary depending on the brand and make of your TV. So, you will have to dive deep into your TV settings manually and disable any audio enhancements that might be the culprit. Many users have reported audio delay issues with TVs from Hisense and disabling Wi-Fi on the TVs have helped in their case. Some TVs also have audio sync tutorials built in that can help in adjusting any audio delays with your content. Ball cycling, despite its rather intimidating name, is a very simple and effective procedure that helps in refreshing all your devices. A ball cycle is a hardware level reboot for your devices ensuring that your devices are depleted of all the charges and then freshly charged up for optimal operations. To power cycle your fire stick, simply unplug the device from power and plug it back in after a minute. Do the same with your TV as well. Unplug your TV and plug it back in after a minute. Finally, as a last resort, try factory resetting a device. In performing a factory reset, you get to revert all the system settings as well as remove bugs and errors that may have made its way to your file stick. You will lose all your app data as well, so you will have to reinstall and log back into your services after the reset process. To factory reset your file stick, head over to the settings menu and navigate to My Fire TV. Then select Reset to Factory Defaults and confirm your selection. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a fire stick with audio visions. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting fire TV content like this.